Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about quartile for group data. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So calculate the quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3 of mathematics test scores of 50 students. So these are the scores and this will be the frequency and the total number of frequency that is 50. So if you add 6, 12, plus 9, plus 11, plus 8, and plus 4, you will get 50. Now, for the frequency class, do not be confused with this one. Frequency, it means how frequent the score is occurring. So, if you have 6 in this particular row, it means that there are 6 students got the score from 21 to 25. In this particular row, you have 12. It means that there are 12 students got the score from 26 to 30 and so on. Now, in this column, we have LB. Now, LB class stands for lower boundary. This one, less than CF, it stands for less than cumulative frequency. Now, we need to find the value of LB and less than CF because we will be using this one in our formula. And the formula of quartile, that would be Q sub K. Now, K there test stands for the quartile that you're looking for. If you're looking for quartile 1, therefore, our K will be 1. Okay, once again, Q sub K. K stands for the quartile that you're looking for. If you're looking for quartile 1, therefore, K there will be 1 equals LB, lower boundary, plus bracket NK. So, N is the total number of frequency, that is 50. K, once again, is the quartile that you're looking for. If you're looking for quartile 1, K there will be 1. So, that would be 50 times 1. 50 is the total number of frequency and K is 1 if you're looking for quartile 1. So, that would be 50 times 1. Divide 4 minus CFB. Now, CFB, that would be cumulative frequency before the quartile class. We will explain that later on class. All over F, F will be the frequency of the quartile class. Then I will be the interval. Alright, so let's find first LB and less than CF. Now, to find LB class, just simply subtract 0 0.5 with this given 46, 41, 36, 31, 26, and 21. Just simply subtract 0 0.5 plus. Once again, this is the lower limit and this will be the upper limit. So subtract 0 0.5 with this lower limit. So 46 minus 0 0.5, that would be 45.5. 41 minus 0 0.5, that would be 40.5. So that's how you find the lower boundary class. But actually class, the formula of the lower boundary, that would be the lowest score in this particular row. So 46 plus the highest score on the previous row, 45. Then you divide it by 2. 46 plus 45, that's 91. Divided by 2, you will get 45.5. But once again, class, it will take time if you do it this way. So the thing that you will do, just remember this one. The lower limit, the first scores subtract by 0 0.5. So 46 minus 0 0.5, that is 45.5. 41 minus 0 0.5, that's 40.5. 36 minus 0 0.5, that would be 35.5. So just simply subtract 0 0.5 plus with regards to the lower limit. So this will be the lower limit. These are the upper limits. But once again, the formula class of lower boundary, it should be 41. Okay, this particular row, 41. Plus 40, lowest score, plus the highest score in the previous row, divided by 2. So 41 plus 40, that is 81, divided by 2, that would be 40.5. So that's why you get 40.5 plus. So that's actually the formula class of the lower boundary. But once again, it will take time if you do it that way. So just simply subtract 0 0.5. So 31 minus 0 0.5, that would be 30.5. Just in case class, the teacher will ask you, how did you get the lower boundary? The actual answer for that, it should be the slowest score plus the highest score in the previous row divided by 2. But to make it simple, class, just simply subtract by 0.5. Alright, 26 minus 0 0.5, that would be 25.5. 21 minus 0 0.5, that would be 20.5. Alright, we're all set for the lower boundary. Next step, class, is less than cumulative frequency. Now, to get the less than cumulative frequency, you will start at the lowest score. So, 21 and 25 is the lowest score. Simply copy the frequency class of the lowest score. Once again, less than CF, you start at the lowest score. Simply copy the frequency. So, copy 6. Then you add class, the diagonal. 6 plus 12. So, 6 plus 12, that is 18. Then plus 18 plus 9. Once again, plus diagonal 18 plus 9, that is 27. 
27 plus 11, that is 38. 38 plus 8, that is 46. 46 plus 4, that is 50. Now, your answer class for the less than CF, it should be equal to the total number frequency on the last part class. So, 50 is equal to 50. Therefore, our less than cumulative frequency is correct. Alright, so that's how you find the less than cumulative frequency. Now, if you have your LB, if you have your less than CF, go ahead class. We will be using the formula to find the first quartile. Alright, so first step. Now, what's the first step, sir, to find the quartile 1? Now, first step class is you need to locate the quartile class. Alright, this is always the first step class in finding the quartile. Locate the quartile class. Now, to locate the first quartile class, the formula, so once again, first quartile class is equal to NK over 4. Now, the use for this one class is we'll be selecting a particular row that we'll be using our formula. So, once again, N is the total number frequency, that is 50, times K is the quartile that we're looking for. We're looking for quartile 1, therefore, our K is 1 over 4. So, 50 times 1, that is 50, divided by 4. Let's use the calculator. 50 divided by 4, press this decimal, this will be 12.5. So, this is 12.5. Now, we need to locate this one in our less than cumulative frequency. Now, where is 12.5? Now, 12.5 is in between 18 and 6, right? So, this will be 12.5 is here, in between 18 and 6. Now, you will be selecting class greater than 12.5. Once again, class, always remember this one. Select greater than 12.5. So, we will be selecting this particular row. So, this will be our quartile class, this row. Alright, so this will be our quartile class. Now, once you have your quartile class, you will be using this one in our formula. Alright, so let's use this one. Once again, class, 12.5. We need to select greater than 12.5 and that would be 18. So, this is our quartile class. Alright, so let's use the formula Q sub K. Once again, we're looking for first quartile is equal to LB, lower boundary. So, our lower boundary in this particular class, that would be 25.5 plus then bracket NK over 4. We have that a while ago as our answer. That would be 12.5. 50 times 1 divided by 4, that is 12.5. So, this is 12.5 minus CFB. Now, in this scenario class, be careful with this one. CFB, it means cumulative frequency before. So, it should be the previous class. So, if this is 18 for our class, our answer for CFB, it should be 6. Once again, class, be careful with this one. CFB, it means cumulative frequency before. Or it means previous class. So, our class is 18. Cumulative frequency, that is 18. So, previous class, that is 6. So, this will be 12.5 minus 6. So, just be careful with this one because CFB, it means before. So, this will be 6. Then, bracket all over. F is the frequency in this class. So, our frequency is 12. Then, times I. Now, I is the interval. Now, how will you get the interval? The interval class, it means that you just count the number from 21 to 25. Scores from 21 to 25. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Therefore, the interval is 5. That's how you get the interval class. Okay, the interval is 5. Once again, let me get the interval. 26 to 30, what's the interval? 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. The interval is still 5. They will have the same interval class. Same with this one. 31 to 35, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Just count the number of scores class from 31 to 35. That's the interval. Okay, so the interval is 5. Alright, and then you simplify this one. So this will be quartile 1 equals 25.5 plus you simplify this one. Just use your calculator class. So this will be 12.5. Minus 6. So, click this one, SD. Once again, class, if your calculator, it says fraction, press this one, class, SD. Above this del, now del, it means delete. This SD, it means standard and then decimal. Press this one, you will have 6.5. Once again, class, we will be answering this one directly using the calculator. You can use cell phone, class, that's okay. 12.5 minus 6, divide by 12, then multiply it by 5. Once again, subtract, divide, then multiply it by 5. 
So, 12.5 minus 6, that is 6.5, divide by 12. Alright, and then you press this SD and then decimal. We have 0 0.54166 and so on. Then we multiply it by 5. So, 12.5 minus 6, that is 6.5, divided by 12, that is 0 0.54166 and so on. Multiply it by 5, times 5, equal sign, you press SD. So, this will be 2.71. Okay, 2.71 because after 0, that is 8. So, this will be 2.71. So, 2.71. Then you add plus. So, this will be 25.5 plus 2.71 equal sign. Press SD. This will be 28.21. So, quartile 1 is equal to 28.21. That's it class. All set for this quartile 1. That's the answer class for the quartile 1 in this given data. Alright, so we can make conclusions. We can say that 25% of the students, okay, 25% of the students have a score, students have a score less than or equal to this given quartile. Less than or equal to, equal to, so let's have equal to this given quartile, 28 Point twenty one. That's it, class. All set for quartile 1. Once again, class, for quartile 1, there will be 25% of the given data. So, 25% of the students have a score less than or equal to 28.21. And you're all set, class, for the quartile 1. Alright, so that's it for the quartile 1. Let's proceed now to the quartile 2. Let's proceed now in finding the second quartile. Once again, the first step that we need to do is we need to find the second quartile class. So, second quartile class is equal to NK divided by 4. Once again, class, this is our formula to find the class. So, N is the total number of frequency, that is 50, times K. Once again, K represents for the quartile that we're looking for. We're looking for the second quartile, therefore, our K is 2. Alright, and then divided by 4, so this will be 100 divided by 4, our answer will be, so 100 divided by 4. So let's do that in the calculator, 100 divided by 4, we have 25, so our answer is 25, 100 divided by 4, that is 25. Now you check class, where is 25? Now 25 is in between this 27 and 18, right? So 25 is here. Alright, so this will be 25. Now, once again, we need to select that is greater than 25. So, therefore, this will be our quartile class, second quartile class. Alright, so this will be our second quartile class. Therefore, we will be using this class to find the second quartile. Alright, so this will be quartile 2 is equal to our LB, lower boundary, that is 30.5. So, 30 Point five, and then plus, then bracket, n over k divided by 4, so 50 times 2 divided by 4, this will be 25, so 25 minus, once again, CFB, cumulative frequency before the quartile class. Once again, this is our class, second quartile class, before, so we need to subtract it by 18. Be careful with this one class, it should be minus cumulative frequency before this class this should be 18 so 25 minus 18 over the frequency in this particular class this is 9 frequency of the second quartile class that is 9 times our interval is 5 same interval as 31 32 33 34 35 therefore our interval is 5 all right and then quartile 2 is equal to copy this one 30.5 plus so, once again, subtract, divide, then multiply. Subtract, divide, multiply. Right, let's use the calculator. 25 minus 18 equals sign. You will have 7 divided by 9 equals sign. So, you will have 7 over 9 or in decimal, that would be 0 0.777 and so on. You multiply it by 5 times 5. Once again, subtract, divide, 25 minus 18, that is 7, divided by 9, then you multiply it by 5. And the answer is, we have, click this one SD, decimal, so you will have 
3.8 so this will be 3.89 so this will be 30.5 plus 3.89 plus 3.89 so this will be 30.5 plus 3.89 and you will have 34.39. That's it, class. That's the answer for second quartile. Easy, right? So once you get the quartile class, this will be very easy, class. Once you understand the quartile one, it will be very easy for quartile two and quartile three. Right, 34.39. So quartile two, 34.39. That's it, class. So once again, our conclusion, we can say that 50 students... 50 of the students have a score less than or equal to this one. So 50 of the students have a score less than or equal to 34.39. That's it, class. So 50 of 50% 50 of the students have a score less than or equal to 34.39. Once again, class, if you're looking for second quartile, it means 50%. All right, all set, class, for second quartile. Easy, right, for the second quartile? So, let's proceed now. Last one, third quartile. Let's proceed now in finding the third quartile. Once again, class, the first step that we need to do is we need to find the third quartile class. So, third quartile class is equal to NK divided by 4. Our N is the total number of frequency, that is 50. Then our K, once again, K represents for the quartile that we're looking for. We're looking for the third quartile, therefore our K is 3. So 50 times 3 divided by 4, this will be equal to, so let's use the calculator directly. 50 times 3, that's 150 divided by 4. So 150 divided by 4, this will be 37.5. Once again, class, this is 150, 50 times 3, 150 divided by 4. That would be 37.5. So this is 37.5. Once again, you locate this one in your less than cumulative frequency. Now, where is 37.5 class? That's correct. 37.5 is in between 38 and 27. Here, right? 37.5. So therefore, we need to select greater than 37.5. So this will be our third quartile class. Once again, class, select greater than 37.5. And this will be our quartile class. Alright, so once you have the quartile class, you substitute the value in this given formula. So third quartile. So third quartile equals LB lower boundary in this third quartile class. That is 35.5 plus, okay, then bracket, NK over 4. So once again, NK over 4, this is, that is 37.5. Once again, n is 50 times 3, 150 divided by 4, that is 37.5. Minus, once again, CFB, it means cumulative frequency before. It should be the previous class. Always be careful, class. In CFB, it means cumulative frequency before. So this will be 27. So 37.5 minus frequency of the previous class. Okay, less than cumulative frequency of the previous class, that would be 27. So, 37.5 minus 27 over, now the frequency of this third quartile class, that is 11 over 11. Then, multiply it by interval. The interval is 5. So, times 5. Once again, the interval, 36 to 40, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So, the interval is 40. Alright, and then, this will be quartile 3 equals 35.5. Plus, so just use your calculator to simplify this one. Subtract, divide, then multiply it by 5. Subtract, divide, multiply it by 5. Let's do that. So 37.5 minus 27 equals, click the decimal, you have 10.5 divided by 11, divide by 11. Click the decimal, you will have 0 0.9545 and so on. You multiply it by 5. Times 5 equals sign. Click decimal, you have 4.77. 4.77, 2. So after 7, that is 2. So this will be 4.77. 4. So 4.77. 4.77. Then you add plus. So 35.5 plus 
plus 4.77 equal sign and you will have 40.27 that's it plus all set for this quartile 3 quartile 3 will be 40.27 that's it plus all set for this one so therefore we can make conclusions 75 percent of the students have a score less than or equal to 40.27 so let me just write that one 70 percent of the students have a score score less than or equal to equal to 40.27 so you, al you always make the conclusions class for this one so once again quartile 3 it means 75 percent so 75 percent of the students have a score less than or equal to 40.27 that's it class all set for this one so I hope you learned something new today. Now if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, class, if you have some questions with regards to quartiles for group data, go ahead, class. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can always message me, class, in our Facebook channel, same name with our YouTube channel. So once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.